Oh, I got soaked. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing, kind of a re review, walkthrough of the S2200 Spectrum Smart Charger. Okay, this is a G2 capable charger, so it will you charge Generation 2 Spectrum Smart Batteries. We've got some 5,000... 100C 4S packs here that we'll be kind of uh, doing a de demonstration with. Um, I actually love my S1400 G2 Spectrum single char channel G2 charger. Uh, it's been a great charger. I've had it for about four or five months. No complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Great charger. And I'm thinking that S2200 is going to be even better. So uh, stick around. Stick around. Big B with that Clad RC. Basically, this is what you get in the box. You get your power cord, which actually looks like a really long power cord. That's nice to see. Uh, your owner's manual, instructions manual. Definitely recommend you guys looking at that because there are a lot of options on this charger uh, that you may not be used to with, you know, a traditional old charger. Okay, so definitely check out your owner's manual. All right, the actual charger itself is really nice looking. I like the way they set up the buttons the the controls on it you can skim through the options quickly and easily okay on the front of your charger here you got two ports you got channel one channel two okay uh each channel has its own ic5 and ic3 access plug okay uh you just push that little plate up or down you can use the ic5 ic3 all right you got your balance port here you got two through six S uh, charging capability, balance charge two batteries at one time. All right, on the side here you got some um, USB charging options. If you want to charge like a GPS or your phone, whatever, you can use this charger for other uh, other charging. All right, you got a big cooling fan on the back of the charger with the Spectrum logo there. It looks really nice. That's where you plug in your three pronged power cord and your own and off button which is actually very convenient to have okay uh got grips on the sides nice solid construction uh foams on the bottom so it don't slide around okay uh color screen nice big color screen for running through your options and checking the uh the battery charge rate charge time it, it'll tell you how long you know the spectrum smart batteries especially it'll actually tell you how long uh you have left for your charge all right um now the spectrum g2 batteries are actually really nice um you, you basically just plug these batteries in you guys this is a 5000 spectrum g2 okay generation 2 technology uh generation 2 technology is different uh it, it doesn't have the traditional balance plugs like a traditional battery does it has a computer chip built into the battery uh, with a signal wire in the middle there okay it's got a little prong there in the middle that actually sends a signal to your charger to from your battery or vice versa uh, basically all you have to do is plug it in that's all you have to do with these G2 batteries be charging up these 5000 G2s, okay, 100C 4S pack. They're actually quite small for their size, and I like to see that. Uh, it's a lightweight pack, okay. Um, so I'm going to get the charger hooked up here, uh, get it powered up, and then we'll go through the charging procedures, all right, uh, and kind of some of the specifications for the charger. So I got the charger plugged in. Let's, uh, let's watch the startup process on your lcd screen here uh you got your 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 scroll down button your scroll up button your back button your menu button uh channel one and channel two buttons okay that's how you kind of navigate your features on the actual charger itself We've got our 5100 c 4s packs they're actually quite compact and light i like to see that being a boater i look for light packs you know whenever i can so um we're going to actually plug in this battery and the 5000 g2 uh, i want to see what pops up on the screen here because we are going to be uh balance charging both batteries simultaneously so we're going to plug it in and see what happens all right plug it in plug that one in 
okay it's initializing smart charge for s5100 c okay and the second pack initializing smart charge it basically starts up for you okay i'm gonna run through the charger for you okay so you want to go down all right you go down we're on channel one it's highlighted here you go down it tells you each cell and how much is charged for each cell okay uh, then you go down again all right and it'll give you uh, the internal resistance for each cell which is really nice to have uh, some chargers don't have that option all right so that's really nice to see okay and then you can go back up to the main screen it tells you you're charging then you switch channels here to channel two all right and then we can look at the voltage for each cell internal resistance for each cell go back up to the main charging screen it tells you uh, what charge rate you're on you can actually change that charge rate by holding down the menu select button you can have that option to stop you could change the current in the middle of a charge if you wanted to your battery history capacity charge 573 milliamps and we have 34 minutes remaining to fully charge which is really a nice option to have if you're going out with your rcs you know you got 34 minutes before your batteries are uh, done and you can you can play around it you know um so i'm going to actually show you guys what i like about the charger okay a couple of little things i like about it all right so i just got a you know running a metal common battery here uh one thing i like about it that, that my old venom duo pro did not have you could just i mean it did but you had to actually like you know fumble around and go through the menu and uh you could actually plug in your balance port okay and it'll automatically pop up the voltage for each cell that's nice you, you know I, I use a battery checker and sometimes it's not on point so um, you know it's nice to have it where you could just plug in your your balance lead and it tells you what what your voltage is so you know if you need a storage charge discharge or put it in the box you know um, so I'm gonna show you how to <clears throat> go through and set up a charge for just a common battery okay um, so it tells us what our voltage is like I said you mash the, the menu button here you hold that down and it takes you to your options screen okay um, we're gonna scroll up okay and check our current make sure it's on charge you hit the menu button again here and you can pick between charge discharge or storage charge all right so we're gonna be charging this battery and we'll take the 24 out uh, so we're charging lipo battery you can actually change from a lipo to lithium lithium ion life nickel metal and, and so on okay lots of options there we're using lipo so we're going to keep it there 4s it automatically so with this charger here you have to actually scroll through pick out if it's a 2s 3s 4s 5s 6s this charger here when you plug in everything even with uh, a regular common battery it'll automatically pop up for us so you don't have to scroll through and pick it all out that's really nice to see you go down you can pick out your 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 charge current okay it goes all the way up to 20 i believe yep i've never charged at 20 but you got that option i usually charge a 6100 c around around 5.5 is what i usually charge them at all right, so we're going to pick that option there. Voltage 420, stop, and then hold your button down to start. There we go. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have to actually hold it for some options, and sometimes you just kind of have to touch it. Okay, so it's charging. All right, then we can go through and, and look at each cell as it's charging. Look at the internal resistance for each cell what i like to do what i've been doing is when i get a new pack i'll actually write down my internal resistance for that pack i'll write it down and um you know later on if the battery's starting to go uh or or i'm i'm i'm, I'm uh, experiencing a loss of power through the battery i can look at my notes for that battery and i can tell if my internal resistance is going up or down it's just something i do just maybe help you guys out maybe not but uh she's done now the one thing with uh if you notice here the total charge time is zero you got 29 minutes left on the smart batteries uh just a common battery it does not tell you how much the 
charge time you have left. So uh, you have to guess it. Okay. With the Venom Duo Pro, now I had batteries catch fire with this charger. I've had batteries, um, you know, uh, the cells go just go bad because I I'm thinking they're they're not getting a, a nice deep full charge. Okay. So charger selection it does matter. Brand charger, the technology, the power in the charger, supplying the lipos with a deep full charge per cell it does matter you guys and uh th these are two good chargers and i recommend them to anybody you guys um you know i, I got the 4s 100c 4s packs here for the blackjack 42 we're going to be taking that out here shortly and uh yeah you guys yeah i definitely recommend them great chargers easy to navigate easy super easy to charge with the g2 technology even with the smart technology it's extremely simple even charging uh just a common regular run of the mill as you guys seen it's easy to navigate and properly charge your batteries okay uh, i recommend using charge like battery bags or put it in a, like an ammo can or something when you're charging you know uh there's always that slight chance of a mishap okay like i said i haven't had any mishaps or fires with these chargers when i was using these i have okay so i recommend them okay the technology uh the the support horizon hobby spectrum the support is there uh if you have any issues you know you can you got the, the support backing the products, uh, which you cannot say about some of these other chargers on the market. So thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything. Link in the description for the chargers and some spectrum packs. If you're interested, check the links out. It helps the channel. It helps the channel grow. We'll see you guys next time.